Good morning, a warm welcome to you on Business Daily here in the nation's capital in Abuja. It's a beautiful morning. I am Yusuf Akogo. As usual, we serve you our business top stories. Take a look. A lot of development there, interesting development, development there in the world of business. Uh, quickly, let's run to the capital markets where we will give you up to, we, I mean, we update you about what happened on the floor last week. And of course, get an update about what is uh, happening this morning. Of course, it's still in early trade. Quickly, we start with the uh, Nigerian market. Uh, we look at uh, what the data are and uh, what we see from what we had from last week, Friday. The market closed positive, 0.33%. Uh, the all share index there uh, way above 52,000 basis points. And of course, the market capitalization, 28.6 trillion uh, Naira there, a huge amount there. If you look at from what we had last week, Thursday, it's an increase of about over 1 billion uh, Naira addition rather to the market uh, capitalization. And if in case you don't know, the market capitalization is the, uh, the value of all the equities quoted on the Nigerian uh, exchange group as well. So uh, if you look at the volume of trade happen that happened on Friday, 482.59 million shares were exchanged as among investors on Friday. And of course, in, the, in terms of the value, 5.6 uh, billion uh, naira there in the deals of, uh, of way over 5,000 uh, uh, deals there among the investors. We clearly look at the gainers on the day. Uh, the top gainers for the day we have the likes of Len Africa uh, doing great there at. Uh, 10%. The, the index itself gained 2 naira 42 kobo on that day. Uh, on, that was on Friday. And of course, the CWG, many people were wondering what is CWG. CWG is an IT solution company quoted on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Also doing great there. 10 point uh, uh, 10% as well. Uh, the index gained 1, uh, 1 naira 32 kobo on the day. Of course, international energy insurance also uh, closing a uh, strong there, 9.73%, uh, uh, gaining uh, 1, point, uh, 1 naira 24. Uh, Cobo there again by the index of that uh, company. So these are the top three gainers from Friday. Today we will look forward to see whether they will be able to maintain this position or of course uh, they will be displaced by other index quoted on the stock exchange. Okay, let's look at the losers uh, from the trading floor. We have the Transcorp. They have been doing well uh, uh, until today. Uh, I mean until last week rather. They have been doing great in terms of uh, performance across the uh, market sectors but again they are down. Uh, they have lost uh, 1 Naira 94 the close negative there, 9.77%. Uh, percent. Of course, living trust is also down. I uh, lost 2 Naira 69 Kobo uh, uh, to down, uh, down there, 9.73%. Uh, percent. And of course, if you uh, MC Nicholas, uh, Nicole's rather, 0.65%. Uh, uh, they're also down there, 9.72% uh, percent in the negative 33. We hope that they will be able to to uh, we'll see a rebound today uh, from some of these uh, the performance of some of these uh, uh, equities on the floor. Let's quickly look we'll look at the the top trade stocks 
on Friday. Of course, Access Bank Holding, they have been uh, doing so great. 169 uh, million uh, shares of that company was traded among the investors of that day. So nobody is surprised. If you look at all the top traders we are actually watching today, you look at the UBA is also there. Fidelity Bank, of course, there. Uh, that shows the performance of the uh, uh, the banking stocks, NGS in the NGS banking rather, as we call them, on the uh, floor on on the uh, stock exchange trading uh, company. So these are uh, what we have: UBA there, 53.5 million shares fidelity bank 36 million uh, volume of shares of those of that company was actually traded on friday and of course they had an impressive performance by the banking sector we'll quickly look at uh, what are the banking sector doing in terms of their performance across sectors of course who will be surprised they are they're strongly one, uh, strongly the 1.7 uh, uh, percent because the, the let's look at the sector uh, look at how the sectors are faring uh, the banking ngs banking there uh, 1.7, uh, uh, 37 uh, percent rather, uh, doing strong there uh, on the index. If you look at uh, what we are watching today, you see uh, the NGS banking, the NGS industrial, uh, of course, uh, consumer goods is, uh, is there, oil and gas, and of course, insurance. They are also there, all of them closing in green on Friday. Impressive performance, you will say, from all the sectors on Friday. Well, it means the, uh, there was an impressive trading across. Uh, counter on Friday. This is actually a, a different from what many in Nigeria were expecting. The uncertainty in, in the uh, system, actually many people thought will actually impact on the, on the market. But again, the impact we are seeing is really minimal. Uh, it really means that the attention of the investors are actually uh, not really concerned about who takes over from government in uh, a, a couple of days from now, less 21 or 22 days uh, from now to the handing over. And we understand that uh, the tribunal is also sitting today to see uh, who what is going to happen with the regards to election petition tribunal so all those things are not really interesting the investors of course and part of the reason we uh, find out from uh, some stockbrokers is the fact that if local investors are actually playing big now in the market unlike before when the um, foreign investors withdraw their funds we see that uh, there is negative trading and of course low performance among all the uh, um, across the uh, market uh, various counters but that is not to say we are seeing an uh, impressive uh, uh, performance across key sectors of the market quickly we look at the african market uh, african market is uh, uh, also not doing so badly with the, with, the, with the exception of ghana ghana stock exchange our next door neighbor in west africa here doing uh, 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 not doing so good from what we have from uh, uh, friday performance down there 2.16 uh, uh, percent and of course if you look at the the index is there uh, 2670 uh, point eight basis point and of course uh, to, from the top we have the GSC GSC Johannesburg stock exchange in South Africa uh, closing strong there 0.75 percent and of course the Nairobi stock exchange way there in Eastern Africa in Kenya also doing great there 0.83 uh, percent impressive performance from the Key sectors there. So we hope that uh, by the end of the today's trading, we'll also get uh, uh, you up to date with uh, uh, market data across uh, from Nigeria and of course down to the rest of Africa. And we probably will definitely take you to the trading floor of the markets uh, probably by tomorrow morning, Tuesday trading, to give you updates about what will be happening on the floor of the Nigerian stock market. But quickly now, we will go rush into our, we'll go into our discussion after this uh, short break. We are looking at the ways and means, of course, 22.73 trillion ways and means to raise cost of borrowing. That is a huge amount. This, uh, all this information is uh, what we'll be looking at today and dissecting it today with me on the show is uh, a public affairs analyst, Jide Ojo. He joins me right here in the studio. Let me, before we go on the break, let me quickly get his thoughts. What's your thoughts about ways and means? Many Nigerians don't even know what is ways and means. Well, uh, they do know, but they didn't know the appropriate language or the um, appropriate way to describe uh, CBM printing money to support the economy. So if you're not an economist or somebody with financial literacy, there is that tendency for you not to know what ways and means is. Mm, absolutely. Now we go into detail of that discussion after this short break. Don't go away. 
part of efforts to support Africa's goal of strengthening. Now looking at the activity chart, as you can see right here, it's volume of more than 30. Every time a Boko Haram crisis that at that time was restricted to Yobe. How secure are they? You can see security men with blood. This is the road leading up to the... For leading, if you look at England's squad, you are looking at EPL, you are looking at their names. You are not looking at... Glad to have you back. It's the Business Daily here on Trust TV, and we're reaching you live from the nation's capital here in Abuja. Uh, before we go on a quick, on a short, on that short break, we're talking about our discussion for today, and we're looking at the ways and means. What does it really mean? And before we went on that break, uh, my analyst, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gideo Ojo, provided some explanation with regards to that. But now we go into the detail of the discussion. Mm. To 22.7 trillion ways and means was approved by the Senate last week. What does this mean? Would this increase domestic borrowing in a way? Um, yes, it, it does. Uh, quite unfortunately, this ways and means that was approved was done retroactively. Uh, it, what that means is that we've already spent the money mm. and now getting the uh, approval for doing the right thing. We are doing the right thing at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. um, recall two years ago, Godner, Godner Baseki of Edo uh, State warned that, look, the nation is broke. There's nothing left in the treasury and that even federal government and many state governments are merely surviving on the ways and means of the CBA. The APC and the presidency said they should shut his mouth up. That there is nothing like that, that uh, the economy is healthy, uh, and that um, the ways and means he was talking about was a figment of his imagination. Mm. Now, the end has come on to roost. Mm. They have now agreed, and, and he also said May 1 last week, uh, well, uh, if you listen to him, mm. during the May Day Workers Day, International Workers Day celebration, he did say, look, by June, many states, including federal government, will not be able to pay salaries. Alternative to another ways and means is if we remove first subsidy, in which case, since the provision has been made, uh, in 2023 budget for first subsidy to June, mm. then if we pull the plug, we possibly will free resources to be able to run the economy. Mm. But to take it beyond June means that there won't be any resources. Because unlike many years ago, when we are talking of one trillion uh, investment in subsidy mm. for a whole 12 calendar month, today we are talking of seven trillion. In, in fact, our subsidy regime is almost equivalent to our capex, that's capital expenditure framework, and our self uh, uh, our debt servicing portfolio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can see the tripartite. So, 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 um, bringing it to the ways and means which was securitized. What happened last week was the securitization mm -hmm. uh, to convert it into bonds and treasury bills. Yes. Uh, so we've already spent. <laughs> if we've already spent the money, twenty-two point seven trillion. In fact, there is a Guardian reported twenty-three point seven trillion mm. uh, last week. So uh, the economy is now healthy. I mean, Yusuf, the, the truth has to be said. Uh, mm. uh, I said it another platform that 
our uh, Nigeria the current leadership. I don't know what they were aspiring mm. to be in government. Because the situation is very, very dark. Mm. And there will be no honeymoon for them. In fact, I said it on another platform that Ashwajo have just gone for his last honeymoon. Mm. Uh, because that 53 days he spent outside of Nigeria, maybe in France or Europe, uh, may be the last he will have mm. until, uh -huh. until maybe 2027. 20, if, if because, because the point is, from day one, they are handing empty treasury to him. And each debt portfolio. Recall that our debt portfolio is about 69 trillion. And it's projected to get to 77 trillion. Of course it is. It is going to be because now we are hearing discordant view about uh, whether the subsidy will be removed. It will not be removed. Uh, yesterday, I don't know whether it was kite flying. They said Dangote has fixed uh, May, May 22nd yes, for refiner, the launch yes. of his uh, inauguration of his refinery. Uh, 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 refinery, which is cheering news anyway. That's what we've been long expecting. Mm -hmm. But whether that will offer the comfort um, that we need to be able to pull the plug of subsidy uh, without civil unrest. Mm. Because the, the irony, Yusuf, is that you, you put the plug in June, mm. this country will be thrown to chaos. Mm. Workers will go on strike because the price of PMS will likely go to 400 naira per litre mm. or more. Uh, just like you have with this, which has gone 700, 800 naira per mm. litre. So these are intertwined. So what that means, basically, uh, uh, it, it, the 2020, 22 22.7 trillion didn't, it's not even that they approve another, they are not approving uh, another, another extra, extra spending. Spending. What no. has been approved is yeah, securitization. Is to but let's look at it in a larger uh, perspective now. What is the microeconomic implications of this? The microeconomic implication is um, having resources to run government. Because without doing it, we will have run into serious, serious economic crisis. Um, you possibly did, do know between March and, and end of April, mm. three banks went under in the US. Yeah. Three banks Absolutely. collapsed. Mm. So it tells you what? There are civil unrest in UK, in, in France, workers are protesting mm. because of the increase in the retirement age. <laughs> this, in Nigeria, we are asking for increase in retirement age. Eh? Labor union mm. said, let the retirement age be 65 or 40 years in service. In France, they increase it by two years and the old mm. workers are saying, no, they are protesting we, don't the want, yes. we don't yes. want, <laughs> we want to retire at 60 and enjoy our lives on mm. behalf of government. Mm. Different role for different folks. So mm. what happens is, the microeconomic implication is that it affords the government the resources to be able to run its, uh, to meet its obligations. Mm financial obligations. Many people raised the issue, 22.7 trillion in one fair soup. Mm. No, it's money we've been spending for some years that we were living a lie. We were living a lie that we have resources to run this government. When PIA was signed in 2021, it was meant to pull off the plug of fuel subsidy immediately. In fact, if you recall, the immediate past Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, when he was asked the implication of the president signing the PIA, he said it means that from now going forward, there will be no subsidy. But a political decision has to be made. Made, absolutely. At that point, in August 2021, to keep the subsidy for another 16 months. Even when many of them have admitted as cost subsidies and organized crime. Yeah, exactly. So, so now... They postponed by 16 months to be able to afford the new administration some leeway. Uh, one, to prevent unrest, mm. social unrest, that will have come with pulling off the plug on subsidy and allowing the, price, the market uh, forces to determine the price of PMS. And we could see how aviation fuel, how diesel has become so scarce. In fact, kerosene. A liter of kerosene that used to sell for 100, 200 naira now goes for over a thousand naira mm. because it, it's been deregulated. So 
the long story short is that yes, ways and means and the securitization that came last week has given some financial succor, a kind of leeway, a breathing space to the government to be able to spend this way. The outgoing to, government. Uh, the outgoing government. Mm. Actually, to, to, to be able to spend his way <laughs> peacefully to transit. <laughs> and that's why you I'm hear... i hand over the why liability. You, why, you, why you hear Buhari say, I'm in a hurry to go. I won't even <laughs> stay in Abuja. So that I won't even be hearing your whatever you said. I'll be far away in Daora, which will be just a few... Kilometers to Maradi in Niger. Yeah, absolutely. He, he knew what he was talking about because mm. the economy is in shambles. Absolutely. And, and um, I, I postulate that what incoming government, a state and federal, will meet is empty treasury and a huge debt to sort out. Mm. So, how do you do that? How do you do that in the midst of. So, the, the micro, macroeconomic implication is just that it gives some succor, just like a placebo kind of give you false um, uh, false sense of security, security yes. that okay we yep. can still pay salaries we can still give 40 percent increment mm, but, but, I, I, increment in uh, but, what did they but, collect but now? Uh, uh, peculiar mini, allowances, allowances peculiar allowances that they start paying them last month it's, it's a false sense of <laughs> 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 absolutely just quickly now let's look at it now uh, up to 96.2 percent based on the figure i have here of wins and means has been spent under this government that is way way above uh, the required or allowable percentage of five uh, five percent five percent yeah. all right is it not a violation fiscal. of the cbn arts it is in fact it's not even only cbn even in the constitution it's a violation of the relevant section of the cbn act but that's why he kept a mefiele that's why Bubu kept <laughs> because they are coming is up, you know, and that's why they also came up with this redesigning of the Naira oh, notes. Yes. Because the full story have not been said. You see, how much did it cost us to redesign our Naira? Even they, we can't even find a new Naira note. It's as scarce as uh, as as, as masquerade faces. Absolutely. Now, it only God knows how much they spent. Because it's not CBN. CBN redesigned. The printing was done by NSN, Nigeria Security and Printing, which is another agency. And you don't do it for free. So we do not, the entire truth has not been told about that redesign Nara note. They mm -hmm. want to bring in all the money in circulation. Mm -hmm. They want to be able to curb inflation, but the inflation is rising. I think it has gone to 22.7 mm -hmm. or there about percent now. Though so there is rising inflation, the cost of living is on the increase, and now you have no money to run the government. Mm -hmm. So it's a very dire situation, and I don't know why and if um, one we will not be back to the issue of bailout funds. Now, just before we, we, we wrap, wrap up now, what do you think should be, I mean, uh, ringing now in the mind of the incoming government, both at the federal and, of course, at the state level? given uh, uh, the kind of uh, economy that will be handed over to them by the outgoing government. That's why right. when they said Ashwaju will not be interested in the leadership of the National Assembly, I laugh in Greek. He's most interested because he needs the cooperation of the National Assembly to be able to navigate the very landmines, it should be bo the, the bo booby traps that we continue along the same line of borrowing? Even though they say we've not yet reached our threshold. You see, you see. For in the in the in the in the immediate period, we cannot escape borrowing. But as we go, we can reduce the cost of government, which will help us save some money. Mm. And that's what I would advise. Now, this is it. I, initially, you cannot tell people, oh, I have a big farm. But the harvest is not ready. Mm. And you said, oh, he, once, once I harvest my product, I will be so comfortable that I will even be dashing out food. You have to feed before that harvest time will come. Certainly. So you need to pay salaries and run government pending the time that the full gestation of your cost saving uh, measures would, you know, one of the, I don't know whether it was your newspaper mm. or one other newspaper was, was postulating that 
Um, but uh, Tinubu is looking the way of Oran Sayer report to match, reduce the cost of government, of government to, to, of to match um, ministry, department, and, and agencies, agencies of which government Which is together. what this administration lacked mm. the political will to Jide do. Mr. Ojo, time and is always, always not, of, not our friend, but we hope that the creativity of uh, uh, Tinubu, he did it in Lagos, and of course we hope that he replicated but, 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 but at the Lagos at the of 2007 it's not the same Lagos same of now, of 2023. <laughs> I must thank you, <laughs> Public Affairs Analyst Jide Ojo, for your time on business daily today. We my, appreciate my your pleasure. contribution. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and with that, yes, uh, we wrap the business daily today. Join us tomorrow for more. I am Yusuf Akogun.